ladies and gentlemen. This is Professor Laura. Hello and welcome. This is our final review for the writing test. Once again, I am not covering the reading test. The reason behind that is because other professors do things in other ways and there are special programs where people are tested in different ways so I'm not going to go over that part. I am going to go over the writing part today. Okay, we're going to review unit 7 through 12. Let's get started. Speaking test. We're going to skip that because it's done a little bit different for everyone so we're not going to work on that. Alright, writing test. Your quiz all right. In this special circumstance, uh, the quiz will take an hour because the midterm and the final will be at the same time. So this will be 50 minutes to one hour. Each part will take approximately half an hour. You'll have 20 questions per part and the total questions will be 40 questions. And the test will be in several parts. Like I talked about before, there's multiple choice. Look at the verb. The verb is probably the thing that's wrong. And then choose the correct one. It might also be a vocabulary word uh, like skiing or swimming or something, but usually it's a verb. And look in the fill in the blank. I will be going out to dinner tonight. And it might be wrong number of things. That's unusual, but it might happen. And wrong word order. There's usually several of them. They're, the sentences are taken directly out of the book or are only changed in like instead of sofa, it would say uh, chairs. It's changed in a tiny way. They're, they're directly out of the book. If you know the book and you know the grammar review and the grammar focus and the A and B questions, you should be fine. That's where they're taking them from. There, if there is a picture, you have to say one complete sentence Unless it says two sentences, it will tell you how many sentences they want. It, it will generally be one sentence. So he is tall, he has a notebook, he has a pen, he is in the library, he is a student, he has a long sleeve shirt, he is wearing jeans, whatever you want to say about the guy. He has a mustache, he has a beard. All right, question and answer. Now this is very important. Usually people are used to having the bottom part, the question, um, and then they have to write an answer. There are several questions where there is an answer and you have to write the question. Such as the sofas are in the living room. Okay, then you would say where are the sofas or what is in the living room. There are several different questions or answers you can have. It must be a complete English sentence. It must be grammatically correct, and it must a either answer or ask the, the question. Add, delete, change. There's something wrong with the sentence. So uh, you mark in there and write the missing word when you add a word. Here there are too many words. You delete a word, change a word because it's the wrong word. Always look at the verb first. That's probably the problem. Okay, question and answer. We already went over that. Okay, for some reason this thing is not working correctly. All right, look at your grammar focus, look at your meaning chunk, and look at all of your dialogues, the A and B, um, or the names to, to know how to create those sentences and understand the vocabulary. All right, unit seven. Where does he live? What does he design? Uh, and what does he design? He designs magazine covers. Who, what, when, where, how, and why? Five W's and an H. Do or does he, she, or it, we, or they, plus something. When does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? Be able to ask them and answer them. Okay, so... Um, he works in New York. He is a designer. Okay, it's a verb and then information about the verb. Or it's a negative. He doesn't. Uh, does or does. Uh, okay, one second.
okay, either they, uh, he doesn't, they don't work in New York. So the verb, the information, that's a negative. That means something is not true. Okay. These are questions, and you can either have a positive answer or a negative answer. Who do I know? You know him. You don't know him. What do you like? I like music. I don't like music. When does he or she work? She or he works on weekends. She or he doesn't work on weekends. What does it hide? Uh, why does it hide? It hides because it's scared. It doesn't hide because it's brave. Where do we go? We go home. We don't go home. How do they travel? They travel by car. They don't travel by car. Notice it says by. By car, by bus, by taxi, by subway. Subway being a train under the ground. Okay. What does Amy do? She's a doctor. Where does she work? She works for Bellevue Clinic. So, a waitress, which again, we generally don't use waiter or waitress anymore. We use server. A waitress is female, waiter is male. Um, Thomas is an accountant, which means he works with money. Andrew is a truck driver. He drives a truck. Celia is a photographer. Allison is a professor. That's my job. Steve is a travel agent. What time does Helen leave for work? She leaves for work at 7.40. Okay, so what time does she, what time does Helen, and then what she does, or Peter, what does Helen leave for work? She leaves, there's an S now, because it's talking about her, she leaves for work. Um, so what time does Peter get up? He gets up. What time does he read the newspaper? He reads the newspaper at. So understand these. Okay, and, to, and be able to talk about what you do during the day. If you have to lie, you can lie. I don't, I don't care on the test as long as you're, you're using a complete sentence that answers the question. Okay, I hope this isn't on the test. But the way this works is there's a time, like 5 o'clock. 5 past, okay, 5 past 5, 10 past 5, quarter past 5, 20 past 5, 25 past 5, Half past five. Now we're going to talk about six o'clock, which is the next one. 25 to six, 20 to six, quarter to six, 10 to six, five to six. And it's quarter past three, it's seven o'clock, it's five after 11, it's 10 to six, it's 25 to four, to 25 to five, sorry. It's 15 to nine, it's half past 10, it's Quarter past six, it's twenty past nine. Okay. So these are the types of jobs and what they do. So know both this page and page 103. A secretary does this, an actress does this. Generally, we don't use the term secretary anymore. We use the term admin or administrative assistant. Now, it's a secretary, it's an actress, because there's a vowel sound there. Okay. So, what does some, somebody do? They do this. So, they may ask this on a test, what does a lawyer do? They, you know, follow the law. What does a chef do? do? A chef cooks meals. Or, actually, the chef runs the kitchen. Unit A. An ability is something you can do. You can play volleyball or you can't play volleyball. You either have the ability or you don't have the ability, or you may be good at something or bad at something. Okay. I can play volleyball. I can't play volleyball. Ride a bicycle. Play paint pictures. Play an instrument. An instrument might be anything. It might be a guitar, an oboe, drums, any instrument. Um, snowboard and play volleyball, and uh, drive, and ride a bike. All right, let's move on. I can ask a question. I can't ask a question. So be able to ask these questions. Okay, what can I ask? I can ask a question. What can you ask? I can ask a question. 
be able to ask the blue box is the front of the question, the the kind of olive color box is the is the positive or negative statement, and then there are yes or no answers. Okay, no the grammar focus that's on the test. Okay, so it's also these good questions. What can she play? No, be able to answer that. She can play a game. She can play volleyball. Now, if you're talking about Taekwondo or yoga, you do or practice Taekwondo or yoga. And can she play yoga? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Now, I were talking about what people can do. Can Ellen swim? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can Ming play ba baseball? No, she can't. Can Ming play volleyball? Yes, she can. Know the vocabulary and be able to talk about what people can and can't do. Okay, I was talking about where you can do something. This may also be on the test. These are also great for wrong word order. These sentences are great for wrong word order. Be sure you know how to put this sentence in order. Where can I mail a letter? I can mail a letter to the post office. Where can I read a book? I can read a book in the library. Be able to know all of these and the vocabulary and know how to make the questions and the answers. Okay, now making a request. If you say, you say, can you open the window? And the answer is sure, of course, no problem. Can you, it's heavy, can you lift it? I, um, sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> it's late. Uh, can you call a taxi? It's cold. Can you turn on the heat? I'm bored. Can you turn on the TV? I'm hungry. Can you cook something for me? It's broken. Can you fix it? Now, if someone says, can you cook something for me? I'm going to say, no, there's a restaurant over there. <laughs> I'm not cooking for people, generally speaking. All right. Uh, this is important because you need to know the vocabulary and you need to talk about what people can and can't do. Any of this could be on the test. Can Linda play the violin? Yes, she can. No, she can't. We can snowboard. Okay, be able to talk about all of this and to write about it. Unit 9. Last week, last month, last year. It's a one before this one. Ago, three years ago. Yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, and number thing ago on day of the week. Three days ago on Monday. Three weeks ago on Monday. Three years ago on Tuesday. And it's on, on Tuesday, on Monday. Be able to talk about the calendar, what, what you did last Sunday, what you did today, what you did three days ago what you did a week ago on Wednesday, the day before yesterday. And if it's on the test that someone says, what did you do the day before yesterday and you don't remember, just say something, just write something. I played a video game the day before yesterday. Don't sit there and think about it, just make a correct sentence, okay? All right, what did you do yesterday? I went to the mall, we watched a movie. Um, and did you buy anything? No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Be able to talk. And how was the movie? It means what did you feel about it? What did you think about it? It was disappointing. You didn't like the movie. All right. Work worked. Join becomes joined. We're talking about past tense. Move becomes moved. If there's an E, just add the D. Study. If there's a Y, it becomes I-E-D. Look in your notice, your blue notice thing. Consonant, verb, consonant doubles the consonant plus ed plan becomes planned okay is becomes was now these are irregular memorize this page know this okay especially the irregular verbs if it's in the book it could be on the test is becomes was are becomes were take becomes took give becomes gave begin becomes began Make becomes made, do becomes did, go becomes went, get becomes got, leave becomes left, eat becomes ate, 
hit stays exactly the same. Buy becomes bought, have becomes had, and see becomes saw. Know how to do the past tense of all of these verbs. I watch TV. I didn't watch TV. What did he watch? He watched a movie. He watched TV. Uh, I uh, didn't cook pasta. We did Taekwondo or practice Taekwondo. Did he watch TV? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Know how to make these sentences, how to ask them, and how to answer them because these are on your test. Also, understand the verbs because that is a great thing to do for the correction. The verb correction is the wrong verb, the irregular verb done the wrong way. So be sure you know how, how those are supposed to be. Now, uh, where someone went last week, did he go to the post office on Monday? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Know what all of these things are. Bank, post office, library, office, bakery, mall, hospital, restaurant, hair salon, flower shop, grocery store, drug store, clothing store, coffee shop, bus station, convenience store, health club, park, laundromat, barber shop. Now, Difference between a hair salon and a barber shop is that uh, men and women can go to hair salons, but mostly women go. Barber shops are only men. Museum, shoe store, supermarket, jewelry store. Okay, what did they do on Tuesday? They bought presents. So be able to talk about doing all of the things a person can do, take pictures, have a party. They, ha they took Pictures, know the past tense of these. They took pictures, they had a party, they worked late, they met a friend, they baked muffins, they practiced the piano, they bought a computer, they watched a movie, they went shopping, they got a haircut, they wrote a report, and they played a board game. Be able to talk about these in the past tense. And the question, what did they do? What did he, she, it, they, you do on in the day of the week. Again, if they say, what did you do on Tuesday? Don't sit there for 10 minutes trying to remember what you did on Tuesday. Make something up. I bought a computer. All right. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. So wash becomes washed. Do beco becomes undid. Study studied. Give gave. Answer answered. Think thought. Shop shopped, go went, stay stayed, teach taught, dance danced, have had, cook. Okay, now these are the past tense for these verbs. Because they're in the book, they could be on the test. Unit 10. Okay, uh, let's do our uh, classroom activity. Wait, okay, classroom activity. Where did Jeff go? He went to. What did he do? He talked. It was fun. So you're going to talk about where people went, when did they go, what they did, and how it. How was it? It means how did, how did it feel? It was fun. It was tiring. It was exhausting. Be able to ask these questions and make these answers. Know this page and page 104. All right, 10. Oh, well, I'll tell you what the fashion show is. It's where a group of people get together to watch uh, fashion. People are walking around a stage in the fashion. Unit 10. Emotions. Happy, angry, sad, frustrated, sneaky, scared, surprised, shy. Bossy means you like telling other people what to do. Sleepy, embarrassed, mean, proud, nervous, silly, disappointed, confused, impatient, curious, kind, obnoxious, which means you're always talking and saying bizarre things, excited, and grumpy. When do you smile? I smile when I'm happy. So these are things you do when you have this particular feeling. Like I smile when I'm happy, I bite my nails when I'm nervous. 
These know your emotions that are in the book. Angry, sleepy, hungry, sick, happy, embarrassed, nervous. Also hot and cold are considered to be feelings. Did you feel the earthquake? No, I didn't. I was walking. So when something, when one thing happened, you were doing something and then something happened during that time. I was cleaning my apartment. Was everything shaking? Yes, a couple pictures fell off the shelf. It was really scary. So I was walking in the park. I was cleaning my apartment. Was everything shaking? Where, what were you doing when it happened? You can also say, where were you when it happened? All right. Okay. So WH questions. What was he reading? He was reading a book. He wasn't reading a book. Be able to ask and answer all of these questions. Okay. What was she speaking? She was speaking French. What was he playing? He was playing golf. What were you watching? I was watching television. What was she buying? She was buying a dress. Now, you have to know how to put these sentences together. This adverbial clause is using when. Okay, so when is something um, that happened? You were doing something when something else happened. Okay, she was reading a book when the phone rang. Uh, he was speaking French when they lived in Paris. They were speaking French when they lived in Paris. Uh, we were playing golf when it started to rain. She was buying a dress when Sally arrived. Okay. Or they, they were watching television when Sally arrived. Whatever. So, we're trying to reduce four sentences into one sentence. Instead of saying he started reading, he was reading, the phone rang, he answered the phone, we say Roger was reading when the phone rang. Okay. What was he doing at... And then a time, 7 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever. He was something ing. You're asking what Jack was doing at a particular time. He was eating breakfast. He was driving to work. He was talking on the phone. He was meeting a client. He was sending email. He was reading a newspaper. A client has hired you to do a job or hired your company to do a job. Okay. Was Trevor playing golf yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was playing tennis. Were Anne and Kim watching sports yesterday? No, they weren't. They were watching a concert. So be able to talk about what someone was doing yesterday. So if this says on the, on the test, what was John doing yesterday? You can say he was baking a cake. You can make stuff up, okay? If you ask, what were you doing yesterday? Make stuff up. I was buying groceries. As long as it's a complete sentence. Know the vocabulary on this page and how to make these sentences. Okay. This is creating sentences. What was Jill doing when her mom called? She was waiting for the bus. Now remember, these are really good for wrong word order. It's the other reason for knowing all your A's and B's. Remember, the orange box is one person. The, the purple box are two people. What was Jill doing when her mom called? She was waiting for the bus. What were Ted and Ann doing when the guests arrived? They were setting the table. Sam and Chris were, what, what were Sam and Chris doing when the rain started? They were playing baseball. What was Sue doing when the accident happened? She was checking her phone. What was Ryan doing when the fire alarm rang? Remember, it's this past tense. Fire alarm rang. He was cooking dinner. Antonio and Bianca. What were Antonio and Bianca doing when the sun set? They were cooking dinner. Sorry, they were dancing. What was Kelly doing when the movie ended? She was crying. Howard and Sean. What were Howard and Sean doing when their dad came home? They were doing homework. Okay, so practice, you're going to talk about what people were doing. Okay, what was she doing? She was skiing. 
be sure you can answer these questions correctly. Unit 11, know the different kinds of TV shows, movie, music, so what kind of movies you like, what kind of music you like, what kind of TV programs you like, what kind of games you like. Be able to talk about that. I like action games. I like um, dramas. I like fantasy movies. I like romantic comedies that could be movies or TVs. I like jazz music, pop music, K-pop music, dance music. I like horror movies. Be able to talk about what you like in each of these categories. Because you probably will be asked it on the test. Okay, do you enjoy? Do you like? I like to cook. I enjoy trying new foods. Do you enjoy cooking? Okay, let's look at this. You have to memorize this page for the test. The things in the orange box, you can either have your infinitive, which is to something, or your gerund, the verb plus ing. You can do it both ways. I like to read the book. I like reading the book. You can do the same with love, like, prefer, hate, and try. Now, infinitive only, the to something is want, hope, expect, decide, agree, learn, etc. Remember, when you see this, it should say want to, hope to, expect to, decide to, agree to, learn to. Okay, I want to learn to ski. Okay. Now, I enjoy something with an ing. Enjoy, mind. Mind means you don't, uh, you don't care. Sorry. Mind means you do care and you don't want it to happen. Don't mind means you don't care. It's okay. Dislike, stop, finish, suggest, and imagine. Okay. Um, what do you want to do today? I suggest watching TV. I suggest reading a book. Memorize this page. Know everything on it. All right. I like taking photos. So do I. I don't like reading novels. Neither do I. So be able to talk about what you like with an ING and what you don't like. Okay. What does Vicki like to do? She likes to meet. Now enjoy takes an ING. Also, these are great wrong word order things. Okay, so know these conversations. Okay, so do you love to cook? Do you like meeting new people? Do you mind getting up early? Mind, is it okay? Uh, it, do you mind? If you don't mind, then it's okay. If you do mind, it's not okay. Do you want to see the Taj Mahal? Okay. Want, um, so, um, so remember, promise is promise to, enjoys ing, likes to, hates to, expects to, loves something ing, dislikes something ing. Unit 12. Now we're talking about future tense. This, uh, this Friday, next Monday, the day after tomorrow, tomorrow and two weeks from today are times when something can happen. So when is Lisa going to play golf? She's going to play golf next Friday. Are you going to something? Are you going to meet Lucy this weekend? Okay. Um, we had a plan to see the movie on Saturday, but that's the day of Rick's party. What are you going to do? I'm going to ask her to go to the party together. That's a good idea. Rick's going to be upset if he misses his birthday. I know. I hope she says yes. So I'm going to ask her. Rick is going to be upset. Are you going to meet Lucy? What are you going to do? This is all going to. It means it's a future plan. So notice it's present tense. She is and then going to and then the verb. She is going to take a rest. What is she going to do? She's going to take a rest. Be able to ask the question. Be able to answer the question. Okay, New Year's resolution. Is Stacy going to do something? No, she isn't, but she's going to. Okay, the purple box is more than one person. 
are they, Dennis and Jerry, going to find an apartment? No, they aren't. They're going to look for jobs. Be able to talk about what you were going to do, what you were not going to do. These are also called resolutions or New Year's resolutions. Uh, and talk, you must think of at least one thing for your test that you are going to do. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to start a blog. I'm going to buy a car. It could be anything. Okay, Think of something you're going to do. Okay, you have to talk about the weather. Uh, sunny, cloudy, foggy, which means you can't see very well. There's a cloud on the ground. Humid, it means there's a lot of water in the air. Rainy, windy, and stormy. What's the weather going to be like next Monday? It's going to be. And if they ask the question on a test, just make something up. You don't have to look up the weather on your cell phone. Just say it's going to be rainy. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be humid. Okay, what is Phil going to do on Tuesday, May 18th? Remember we talked about the TH is for everything except first, second, and third. And be able to talk about, if someone says, what are you going to do on Tuesday, May 18th? Make something up. Um, I am going to clean my house. It can be anything, okay? And things you're going to do before age 30. It's, that question may be on your test. What are you going to do before age 30? I am going to go skydiving. I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to learn a new language. Okay. So we, we reviewed for the final, uh, the writing test. Remember, midterm and final are probably going to be at the same time. They're going to be an hour or 50 minutes instead of 30 minutes each. And there's going to be 40 questions, 20 from the first six chapters, 20 from the next six chapters. Your verbs are usually the problem. Look for your verbs first. Great job, guys. Good luck studying and start studying. Have a wonderful day.